All right, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a battery on an HP laptop. Take a look at the back of your computer here. You should be able to identify the model. This is HP Pavilion X360M. And this is the model of 14M-DH. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Get a metal prying tool or anything that you can pry open that little plastic here. This little plastic is prevent the computer from sliding away. That rubber has to be removed in order to expose the battery, I mean the, uh, the screw. There's none here on the bottom right. Let's take a look at on the bottom left. Looks like there's none as well on the bottom left. So only the top left and top right have a hidden screw on it. Get a Phillips screwdriver and let's go ahead and remove the screws. If you're not sure where to buy the battery from, please go ahead and check the link down description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery for this laptop. The next step is to remove the screw here. I'll be using a 1.5 mm. It's the smallest size of a screw. So remove the two screws here at the very bottom. The next step is to pry it open. All right, once you have removed the back cover, you then now can see the battery here is at the very bottom right corner. Now the battery, if you can feel is hard and there's a lump onto the battery, then more likely the battery needs to be replaced. If the battery is not holding the charge, or the battery can die off very quickly, or maybe your trackpad is not clickable, it is because the battery is pushing from the inside out. And I'll show it to you in a second. Once you have removed five of the screws, then the battery will just pop right out. The reason why the clicker doesn't work on the trackpad is because the battery is swollen. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but you can see there's a lump on the battery. And that pushes the clicker from the inside out, preventing the trackpad to work normally. The brand new battery should look flat. It should be just flat like that. There's no lump on the new battery. All right. And the model of the battery is HT03XL. If you still follow along the video at this point, then you're pretty much halfway through the process. Now let's go ahead and put the screw back in. If you do find these videos helpful, let's go ahead and smash the like button for me. If you have any question, comment down below. I do read the comment and answer those questions. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, back cover together. Press it in. The biggest screw is black in color. It goes on the top left and top right corner. Okay, once you have installed that, and the two tiny screw here is at the very bottom. If this video helps you to save some money, and you're able to follow along the process and get it done, um, if you wanna show appreciation, please click on YouTube Super Thanks. It allows you to share the gratitude, uh, um, to support my work and my channel, and I do really appreciate you for doing that. 
and do not forget the uh, the two rubber stopper here let's just take it stick it back in and that should be it hope you can repair your own computer bye now